Hi, it's Joy, the cop chick with the Keystone Cottage. It's Halloween time, and so I like to have a little fun with a few little decorations, nothing too spooky or creepy. So um, come along for the ride, enjoy the little adventure. Maybe it's a little goofy or corny, that's okay. But um, I promise to teach something at the end, something that may be of value to you in the Cobb House building. So, all right, let's take a look. Headstones right here. When I came in this morning and my mom had built this one, placed it just for my husband. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but he might want to take note of this. Yep, so anyway, I guess this one's mine right here. It's got some purple flowers in it with some spiders. And backing up a little bit, just above my head, looking up, 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 there's a ghostly figure that likes to flow in the wind, looks like a prom dress or a bride that's missing from her dress. And this is a really pretty piece at night, actually. Because you can put a blue light under it and it glows really, really cool. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't this like the coolest thing ever? Anyway, this is dress has uh, made it through a few Halloweens, so I'm surprised it still exists. So anyway, enough about the ghost dress. I'll uh, work on putting a link to a video if you're interested in more of the ghost. So, but all right, some of you may have noticed what she's hanging from. I promised I'd show you something, teach you something. A lot of people at my workshops ask me, what is this thing hanging? Okay, besides the ghost dress, because that's not usually there. What it is, is over here on this tree, it starts out with a rope structure. Right here. Goes all the way up, across a limb, way up there, straight down. The rope splits into an A-frame, or an A, I don't know if you can see the knot right there, maybe. But anyway, it splits to where it holds this rod here on both corners, right here with the eye bolt, right there. So that's how it's supported um, evenly. From there, it's got these hooks like this all the way across. And what this does, it's uh, maybe every foot or so. What this is, is this is able to support multiple tarps so that when I'm making my cob mix, I can hang my tarps up multiple ways and stretch it all the way up and basically be able to wash and scrub both sides of my tarp. So, um, it's really nice because sometimes that stuff gets really, really sticky and really, really hard so you're able to just hook, 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 pull it right up, put them, take a, you know, the hose and psh, spray it off, you know, put some cleaner on both sides if need be. Um, in the past I've also put like some dish soap on it, um, but Sometimes let it sit, let it air dry, and that way it's not airing out on the ground, getting all dirty, yucky, because that stuff is not easy to clean. Sometimes it becomes quite a challenge when you're dealing with a really big tarp. So anyway, this big, long piece, which I hope that you can see well, um, it's got some debris on it, some sticks and stuff, but uh, this is a wonderful piece. It doesn't cost like hardly anything to make, definitely like less than 10 bucks. So, but I think this is worth it as far as if you're interested in cob house building and stuff like that. Just make yourself something similar to this to where you can elevate your tarps really, really quick. Scrub both sides of it. Let it air dry um, for a little bit. Fold it up. You're done. So, all right. That's my, I guess, my air dryer, my tarp cleaner, something. So, all right. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween and be safe out there. All right. Please hit like and share, comment below, and all that other good stuff. Thanks. Bye.